Hello, my freaks, ghouls, and monsters. Welcome to another episode of the Gore Horror Hour, episode 26. Chaotica here with my co-hosts. Absinthe Widow. And E-Rock. Woo-hoo! And we're here to, well, we're going to have a lot of fun this, this episode. Yeah, we're going to get into it. The Gore Horror Hour is actually get into some gore and horror this hour, all right? So uh, I got something for you guys. I want to keep it a little bit interesting, okay? What you got? All right, so I want us to discuss overrated, but yet still badass movies. But I only want to give us like three titles, and I want you to choose from the titles which one you think is still badass, which one do you think is overrated, and which one do you think is, you know, decent, you know, still decent or whatever. So so, um, and I want to do this with uh, movies from the 80s. Mm. What do you think? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, just go Just go with it. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, all right. All right, so the titles oh, are. Come on, 80s. All right. The titles are The Thing, The Fly, and Children of the Corn. Mm. So. Mm. Which of those do you think is still badass? What's which 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 title of those out of those three 80s films do you think is still badass? The Fly, The Thing, or Children of the Corn? What what's your opinion? Yeah, Aaron, opinion? what's your opinion? You go first. That's still badass would yeah. probably be the thing. That's that's what I was gonna say. Yes, agreed. The thing. Yeah, I totally agree. What? Oh, you're shaking your head. Uh -oh. All right. I'm more of Children of the Corn, only because I was uh -oh. very impressed when I watched it. I, if I were to watch it now, I'd be like, eh. But I, I, I mean, I really, all three of them were really, really good. But for me, it would be Children of the Corn and then probably The Fly and then Thing Last. That's just for me, in my opinion. Just saying. Okay. Yeah, see, but with The Thing, you had all those practical effects. That's right what there. I'm, yes. That they, they looked was, so good. Yes. They actually, like, for for an 80s movie, they made that shit look more realistic than any other 80s film, in my opinion. Well, and that, I don't that at all. I'm not disagreeing. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, even Freddy Krueger. I I felt like even parts of Freddy Krueger weren't as real looking as what thing, what you know, how mm -hmm. how deep in, into you know their their shit they went. They did a great job. They they were so creative, and mm -hmm. and so detailed oriented. How could, you not, not, how could you not love Help me? Help me? How could you not love that part? I mean, yeah. Okay, so uh, I think The Fly was decent. It, it, it wasn't, like, terrible. But it, it definitely wasn't one of those badass films either. To this day, no one could pass a cornfield without thinking about that movie and Malachi. Nobody mm -hmm. can. True. Yeah, Very you're true. right. No, I. But if I'm gonna pass a cornfield, I know I'm, it's it's not too you know related, I guess. But what I think of is Jeepers Creepers. That was bad. That, that's that's my number one favorite. But we're not talking Jeepers Creepers. Oh, no, 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 no. We're but, still talking those. But three. you said when I pass a cornfield, that's not the first thing I think of, bitch. It's, no. it's again, Jeepers it's 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 my age. I'm showing my age. Okay. All right, no, the two it. of us grew up in the eighties. In the eighties, a little bit before then, for yeah, no, one I, of us. You're, a, I was born in nineteen ninety, so and after that, for one of us, mm. seventy two here, seventy two, yeah, seventy eight. So <laughs> don't look at me like that. You weren't even in the eighties. You weren't even a. You weren't even any ball sack. You guys, yet. you know, I'm not allowed to form my eighties. <laughs> 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 it does change things a little bit just because of the cool. perception or whatever. But I would have to agree. I'm not the biggest fan of The Fly. I never was. Not even when I was younger. I was not a big fan of it. Children of the Corn, yes, fan of it. It's obviously lost a lot over the years because, you know, it's to me looking at it nowadays, it's not as good it, as it's it was. very, it's corny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I, was, when I was younger, I liked it a lot better than I do nowadays. The last con we were at, uh, Matt, the guy that played uh, Malachi, was actually there, and I didn't realize how tiny he was. Yeah, I mean, he still looked. I mean, he, he looked like an old man, but he was still yeah. tiny. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then you had like Courtney Gaines. He was at the last one we were at too, which yeah. I'm in a film with, which, you know, the Funhouse Massacre. Mm. I never get to meet him, but we are in the same film together. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. So, yeah, but yeah, the fly. I mean, there's some aspects of the fly, obviously, that are great. That'll right, right, right. always be great. I think, I think Children of the Corn is most overrated. I think that's most overrated. Mm. Mm. So we're all three different. Yeah. I mean, no, all around well, different. All around. Like, none of us have the same. Uh, I, think, I think you yeah. and, you and uh, Absinthe are in agreement to uh, the thing and then, you know. Right. Yeah. But, but everything he's else saying is that the fly is most overrated and Children of the Corn is okay. Yeah. Okay. So I guess we all, you know, but, but that, that was pretty fun to learn, you know, about how we feel about the, you know, the films. That's fine. Right. Well, it just, I mean, I I like it for for horror films. And there was just so many iconic things that came out of there that are just, you know, marketable. And, and I mean, everybody knows it, especially this is why we go to cons because this is what we know and this is what we love. Absolutely. Right. But out of all those films, which one has the most sequels? Ooh, Children I'd have to say Children of the Corn. Yeah, Children of the Corn. Yeah, Children of the Corn, hands down. I don't I yeah, there was no fly. Exactly there was not a sequel are. to fly. They remade it, but they didn't not a sequel, but and then there yeah, was they, a sequel to the thing the thing recently, yeah. which was pretty good. Yeah. I did like the sequel to it. I have to rewatch it. Yeah. I think I was eating snacks when I watched it. <laughs> <laughs> what am I not eating snacks? Right. Fucking hell. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, somebody did snacks before we saw the movie Beetlejuice too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the juice list. <laughs> it was good. I had a Beetlejuice party in case you guys are wondering. It was fun. I was glad. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. Hell, we had it. trivia and watch Beetlejuice. <laughs> yeah, we went to the drive-in. Right. How many of you fuckers still go to the drive-in? I love the drive-ins. I do too. I think Deadpool, the first one, was the last time I was at a drive-in. Oh. We should go see the Deadpool oh, Green if they have it at the drive-in. We already did. Yeah, not the drive-in, but we saw it at the theater. I saw it. Yeah. You yeah. guys just. I know. Don't be jealous. But we can we can think of. I'll another. say that next time when I go on a dinner date with Iraq. That's right. Okay. Hi. <laughs> we'll make it a movie date. Where's your husband? At? <laughs> <laughs> These people are getting in contact with your people. Okay. All right. All right. Well, yeah, they're gonna let me know, so it's all good. It's gonna be a rock concert. I'm patient. A rock concert. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. Okay. New topic. New topic. Um. Topic. Favorite kill scenes. I'm going to give you guys a title. This is fun. This is fun. And I'm going to pick a title for myself too, okay? Um, So I want Chaotica to tell me her favorite kill scene from Friday the 13th. I actually remember quite a few iconic ones for that one. Yeah. And, and the the first one is from Friday the 13th, part two, where the couple's in bed having sex and Jason spears them both at the same yeah. time. Shish yeah. kebabs them. Yeah, I remember that so very them. <laughs> Yeah, shish kebab them. And I just, I remember that so well. And I remember being freaked out, that, you know, like if I were, even when as a kid, you know, kid going camping and you're in those beds, you're like, is there going to anything underneath there? <laughs> But the other one is in the um, Friday 13 3, where um, the he actually crushes a guy's head and the eyeball, literally the 3D eyeball pops right out. Yep. Right out. Hey. I just hey. that one. That'd be excellent to see in 3D. Oh, it was. I mean, back in the time, it was, it was, I mean, it was Old iconic. Lost. I mean, it was just, it hadn't ha- really happened before. Yep. Oh, yeah. Remember cool. the the laundry scene where they the guy's like he's got the pole and the pole I mean that the pole looked like it was right in your damn face. It was cool. Yeah. So about that, oh, let's go to the the kill scene you're talking about. So who was the actor that got impaled through the neck? You remember who that was? Wasn't that an iconic actor today? I think it was. 
very iconic. It's been was it Johnny Depp? No, no way. No, Johnny, no, he wasn't in. It's seven degrees Friday 13th. of. Like, it's not clicking. It's not clicking for me neither. It's like a breakfast. The best part of breakfast. If you put this on anything, it is great. Folgers. No. <laughs> what are you talking? Back on. Kevin Bacon. The bacon. Oh my there's, god! Well, there's the one where the, there's their other iconic one in in uh, um I think it's uh maybe it's three the guy that walks on his hands and he got macheted oh. in half. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty cool. That was a good scene. But yeah, I didn't realize no, I it was Kevin Bacon that, that was the one that got shish kebabbed. Yeah, mm -hmm. Kevin Bacon. Shish yeah, I'm pretty sure that was his very first film too, if I remember. Wasn't but, um wrong, there but... was like actually quite a few uh um uh mm -hmm. well known stars in a lot of those Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah, yep. But yeah, those were those are the ones I can remember, and good. those are good, excellent. Yeah, Friday the Thirteenth was probably my favorite from from the third on. Yeah, you know, which I probably said before, just was, you know, that's when Jason yeah. became himself. He got the mask, and right, you know, not taking away any of the other ones. So, did Friday the Thirteenth set the bar for like killing sex scenes? Oh, I mm -hmm. think so, definitely. Because that's, I um, mean. I'm trying to think of like previous films that because oh, you had you had Friday the Thirteenth, you had Halloween, and you had Nightmare on Elm Street. But I remember which one? I think it was Halloween, where the kid was in the emergency room, where he bit into that apple, and there was a razor in it. Mm -hmm. I think it was one of the Halloweens. That one I, I remember, remember clearly one. too. One that Halloween too. I think I think so. I just remember being afraid. As no, there no, was no way in hell I was ever going to do an apple again. I'm terrified that there might be a razor in there. <clears throat> now I'm just like I'm leaking towards all of the horror sex scenes, like two teenagers getting it on, and then yeah, there's quite a few of them. There is quite a few of them. Freddy Krueger was one too. Yeah. Pretty much all of them do. Like I said, Halloween, Friday the Thirteenth, Nightmare on Elm Street, Texas Chainsaw. Mm -hmm. You know, pretty much every right? horror. That's like the cliche. It's, it's, horror. Yeah, it's the whole cliche of it. Yeah, because they're going camping, they're going out, they're going to go do something, they're going to have fun, they're partying, they're getting drunk, they're getting high on. <laughs> Saved it. <laughs> yes. Getting high on life. <laughs> that's good okay uh, E-Rock your movie is from Dust Till Dawn that's a good one yeah favorite kill favorite kill scene yes well I mean it's kind of cool when uh, he he uh, has the belt the belt oh my god I knew you were going to say that's mine too <laughs> the, co the cock and balls <laughs> yep that's so good it was so good yep yeah, that was pretty cool. Tom Savini. Mm -hmm. His yeah. belt had a pistol attached to it in the movie, and I thought that was so badass. I got to meet him. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Uh, yeah. I mean, I I I talked to him just a little bit to to fuck to fuck with him mostly because um, Gonzo wanted me to. Yeah, he's I'm trying to remember, but I have a skull with his signature on it somewhere here on my desk Ooh. because I went over there and. Um, he said, uh, he because we were talking, and he said, "Can he, you know, can I have something of yours? And sign it." And he goes, "I don't have anything," so he just grabbed this little plastic skull and he, he just signed it and gave it to me. So I was like, "Okay, <laughs> it was really cool." Was that at Cinema? Yep. Mm -hmm. Lucky yeah. bitch. He's at yep. Cinema Wasteland coming again, isn't he? Is it this I, one or that, April? That's what I'm wondering. I can't remember. Should have looked that up before we Ooh. did that. We didn't know we we're going to talk about him, but um, he, Tom Savini is him. either in he's either at Cine Wasteland in October or, or in April again. You know, he's yeah, there. Often. I think uh, that was the same time that uh, Liz and uh, Batsy also went over there and, and traded um, autographs uh, with him as well. He was very, very nice, very guy. He was a very talkative guy, and he gave us lots of uh, information. Is is he the one that he said that he was uh, with Mister Rogers? I might be thinking of a different guy. Mm. No, I don't think so. I thought that he was, he was, never mind. It's just, and neither here nor there. Anyways, dust to dawn. Kill scene. Awesome. <laughs> that one, I mean, there was a lot of great kill scenes in there just because it was 
<laughs> a massacre at one point. I don't think all the vampires dying, but I don't think he's gonna be there. I'm not. I think he's. If it's not this one, he's there again in April. He's there all the time, anyway. But yeah, it's probably the April one that he's supposed to be at. Yeah, so. that sucks because I I do want his autograph. I'm jealous that you got it and I don't. Yeah, yeah it's it's somewhere over here. It's I know it's it's on a skull up here because I've got the um three skulls that uh, um hear no evil, see no evil, say no evil, and then his skulls right in between them. So cute. Nice. I like that. Okay, and I. I, I picked a movie for me. Um, my favorite kill scene from the movie Hellraiser. Mm -hmm. um, so, wearing Larry's skin, Kirsty's uncle Frank was discovered by the Cenobites. Cenobites, sorry, Cenobites. Oh my God. <laughs> and, and Pinhead. Uh, that he cheated his way out of out of out of their hell. So here comes the hooks, ripping into. Uh, I Frank's remember that class, scene like it was yesterday. Piece by piece, he is just fucking ripped to shreds. But before before we're we're seeing him ripped to pieces, he says the iconic line, "Jesus wept," and it just. So I think out of the whole film that and that's actually like the end scene to the movie so i think that scene in that movie is by far the best kill scene best best kill scene throughout the whole film and there was quite a bit of killing yeah so how, how did that noise go again <laughs> I, don't remember, I don't remember that part in there but that's pretty funny <laughs> shut up <laughs> No, but all the blood. Oh man, no, that's, that's awesome. they had to use a lot of blood for that movie. I just know it. Yeah, it mm -hmm. was an awesome scene. It was good. It's one of those things that you just wanted to rewind and kind of watch again because it was so brutal. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, um, how do you fuckers feel about musicals? <laughs> uh, I hate. I hate musicals. musical films. Um, well, I like musicals, oh, but yeah. you're talking like horror genre. I'm talking horror genre. Yes, thank you. Disney's a totally different story. Don't get me started. I could sing for days, bitch. Um, so one of the mu one of the musical horror movies that I absolutely cannot fucking stand, and this may come as a shock, to some of you guys. Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> Release me. <laughs> uh, I kind of like that one. No. I'm not. Uh, I'm not opposed to it, but no. they're musicals and cheesy for a damn reason. Right. Yeah. I that that's true. But the songs, they were just so annoying. The chick's voice. It was so like preppy and high pitched, and I just I couldn't stand listening to her. And the song, it gets stuck in your head way too easily, and it's not the. Feed me, Seymour. Love it. Ridiculous. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Where did you get that? Do, 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 do. Off the shelf. Where did I get this? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, off the shelf, of course. But no, <laughs> what it is, is. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I bought part of it, and then uh, Jimmy from Wacky Wicks put everything else together for it. I bought just the uh, the plan itself, but he, he got the can and got all the foliage and stuff, and that's a way to go, Jimmy. You knocked yeah. it out of the park. I love it. It's actually, really good. Yep, I got us both one, just the uh, plant, but he uh, he put it all together and made it. And what's his his website for those that might be interested in checking out his uh, stuff? I just know it's under Wacky Wicks. Uh, Wacky Wicks. James Miller Designs. Okay. So, but yep. I think that's about us. Yep. I do. It's cool. I love the Maxwell House can. That's just fucking it. Perfect. <laughs> But yeah, since we talked about it, I had to go grab it real quick. <laughs> but cool. but now, like, it's, no, I love that no. show or that movie. I mean, you, that's one, I of, one of my favorites as a... Uh, and I know a lot of people love it, but I can't. Yeah, but in general, I hate musicals. Like, I do not like musicals. I do like I don't Little like Shop that. of Horrors. I do like the Rocky Horror Picture Show. And then... 
That's my favorite. Sweeney Todd is right. Oh, I in like there. Sweeney Todd. Like, I like Sweeney but Todd. But then once you, I, I think it's because it's all the horror genre, but after that, I don't really like any musicals. I get it. Me like, neither. I don't even like music no. in, or musicals, like, what do they call those montages or whatever inside films? Like, I know, where they a, just do their own little musical number. Real well, quick. I yeah. love Moulin Rouge. I know it's not scary or anything like no, that, but that's Moulin not... Rouge was. I like the video. Okay. Yeah. I like the video. Not the video, the, the actual all movie. The, all the hot singers in there. That was amazing. But yeah. I feel oh, like our, the movie needs to be really, really, really good on its own mm -hmm. if it's going to have those musical parts in it. Yeah. And yes, what you just said, perfect musical. Rocky Horror Picture Show is my favorite. I love Have you guys ever watched Rocky Horror Picture Show with the audience participation? No, no. Oh, I've never God. been to a live show. Mm. Oh my goodness, it's 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 so much fun. I mean, because there's there's a banter that happens before you know they say certain lines. You know, I mean, just like you know what tastes good on cornflakes. He goes, "Come to the lab." <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Now I have gone to the Evil Dead musical, and that was pretty oh no awesome. kidding. That was you know a live show. That was pretty awesome. Yeah. Me, Zombie Jeff, and Havoc went a few years I think back. Zombie Jeff and, and Val are going this next time, aren't they? Yep. Yep. I think that's coming up in October sometime. I think it's the same weekend as our Halloween party, if I remember right. So, yeah, it's that same weekend. But no, that is pretty cool. So, yeah, I guess it has to be horror for me to like a musical. Other than that, I don't. And going back to talking same. about how you have like mo musical montages in a movie. Uh, not really a spoiler alert, but in Beetlejuice, there was one, and I was not fucking happy about it. I did not like that part. Oh, I my loved God. it. I thought it was great. He was trying to serenade. He was serenading her. Uh, yeah, he was serenading. That's the, literally it. That he was, was but there was two different, and there was no, two different montages. The one that lasted like an hour. It felt like it was just kept going. It and was going towards the going. towards the end where he yeah, was. Yeah, he did yeah. a whole entire song. Now, the, yeah. You know, the other little but, short one that was. But listen, cute and it's also, was it was it something about cake? It's also yeah. It was about cake. They're all yeah. they're also um doing that because of Beetlejuice one, the banana boat song, they all sat down. Beetlejuice happens to love music. That's, that's how we get to know him a little bit. He is taking control of the person with music and he's making his own little spin to it. And I just think it's hilarious. He's making them do something that they don't want to do. And it never did. Really he really really loves music because yeah, no, that's great. I loved it. I thought it was. Whole. I mean, and I don't even know the song really. I had no idea the song. <laughs> like, I'm gonna have to look it up now because all I remember um, is something about the cake in the rain, and he never yeah. got the recipe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yep, you're right. So, but it it definitely sounded like one of those like old school iconic for like a hot minute yeah. single, you know, songs that faded away after a minute. Just the one hit wonder, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I, I loved it. Yeah, it I it's the, they had to show Beetlejuice's character, and that's that's part of who he is. It's fucking hilarious. No, like the small ones were, were good, but not. not yeah, okay. You, you just didn't want to. I wasn't one. a fan of that. Like, it seemed like it lasted too way too long. Uh, like, way too long. Like, there's other movies that'll just bust out of nowhere just in a. No, <laughs> but you know, I'm trying to think of a thing one off the top of my head, but I can't right at the moment. But yeah, what do you guys think about Repo the generic opera? The generic, yeah. <laughs> so, you, so you we know what she thinks about it. <laughs> it's, no, genetic, I mean, it's genetic, but yeah. she said generic, but yeah, uh, no, it's it's pretty good for what it is, but it's you know, gross. Not I think my it's my favorite. Good. Yeah, I can't. I can't even watch the whole movie. I I I fell I fell asleep like literally right at the beginning. I'm over it. Like I can't. It doesn't yeah. it doesn't grasp my attention span. Right. Can't do it. Yeah, it's not something that I can watch on a regular basis. Not taking anything. Oh, that's the song he sang. It's by Richard Marks. The uh, one in the beginning where he serenaded her. Yeah, I'm oh, gonna, I know that I'm one. Just, I'm gonna, that one was fine. Send it to me or something because I. Wanna, that's in the trailers and stuff anyway, it. so we're that's definitely not a spoiler. But 
That longer one was a little little ridiculous and beautiful. So Are there any other ridiculous. horror movies that we're not thinking of? Hi, Hopscotch. <clears throat> that are musicals? Yeah. Shit. I'm sure there are. Um, I mean, there's a lot that have a, to do with music, but not I wouldn't call a musical per se. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll have to look that up later and talk about that later. I guess. Sorry, my cat. No, oh, we boring you. No, you're not. Talking I had about, a long talking about generic it operas, was... <laughs> <laughs> right? Why we not? Like those, those, those musicals. We fall asleep. I'm thinking about it and yawning. It's not my fault. It's the damn movie. Yeah. Okay. Don't judge me. The one. What's the next one? What are we talking about now? Um. Well, I was thinking. Um. That uh, Chaotica could come up with a topic. Who has the best pair of boobs in a horror film? <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many, and I can't even I can't even pick an, an actress because yeah. Okay, when you say boobs, what pops out is not actually boobs. It's more like a a tank top Who's? with their nipples out, like scream. No, no. It's from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Okay. The remake. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Boobs. Boobs. Yeah. She's out. I like boobs. Yeah. Can well, you what about what are you at, Epson? I don't know yet. I'm trying to think. What, what, well, I mean, obviously Scream comes to mind, but what 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 what's what's your boobs? Boobs. What's your favorite boobs horror movie? Mine. Mm -hmm. They're in a horror movie? movie? Right. I'll watch it right now. It's scary every time I take off my bra. <laughs> I honestly, I can't even, I can't even begin to even. The um, Rob Zombie, Michael Myers, um, Halloween film. Didn't, didn't the, the sister? The was sister? Yeah, she had cute little boobies. Yeah. That'd yeah. probably be the only one that I can even remember. Yeah. You can't remember all the yes, Friday I screamed. 13th boobies. Friday 13th, <laughs> a lot of boobies. Boobies. Those like run through my head right now too. All the Friday. Are they 13th actually boobies. running? Yeah, they are. Some of them are, and some of them are just go. Uh, you know. Uh, oh, what about Killer Goats? Killer you got Miss goats? Kitty's titties those in that thing, right? Boobies. Okay, those are those are some nice boobies. boobies. Those are very nice. Yeah, boobies. Miss Kitty you, boobies. You know, and that what made me think is, oh, and they're like, oh, and Miss Stiletto boobies. Yeah, from yeah, yeah. Final, Final cut. cut. Final cut. Final cut. Final cut. Miss Kitty's titties are in those too. Miss Kitty's titties. Yeah. Wow. So there we go. We're kind of being biased on that, though, aren't we? If we're no. talking about the no. GGs. No, we're being honest. <laughs> being honest. Right, but we can talk more and, and even show more on our Patreon, speaking of. Yeah. So you want to let our viewers know about our Patreonism? <laughs> yeah, go to patreon.com backslash gorgeous girls, and that's where you can sign up for our uh, extended cut. And plus a lot of other things there, too, where you can see a lot of uh, extended cut on the stuff final you cut. can't see anywhere else. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, it's good stuff. Here eventually, yeah, we are uh, our gore horror hour. We'll have a podcast, and we're gonna interview some of the characters from from Final Cut. Final Cut. Final. <laughs> Final. So that way, you guys can get to know the characters and and how they felt about you know their scenes and and all that jazz in the movie. And maybe eventually, we'll get to see um the the killer goat mask right maybe maybe well, wait a minute. display that you just like mix both movies oh you're right oh like I you you ever were talking final now cut they like final killer goat's mask. because we i want to do that too i also want to have a podcast where we'll be interviewing um the people from um killer goats mm -hmm. we'll see if we can try to at least get one of the play and i and i do i definitely want to get the mask in there yeah that we can definitely do the mask yeah if we get Terrence Muncy, we can probably get the mask for Final Cut. Final Cut. Final Cut. Final Cut. <laughs> You'd have to understand the reason why we say this, the trailer, it's all you heard was Final Cut. Final Cut. Final Cut. Final Cut. Final Cut. You know what time it is, bitch? What time is it? You know what time it is, bitch? 
It's time. Hey, Anika, what time is it? It is the FMK. All right. And this is going to be for your ears and uh, your decision. Okay, so FMK. We have Jennifer from Jennifer's Body, Akasha from Queen of the Damned, or Nancy from The Craft. <laughs> oh, so we're all three going to answer this, right? <laughs> no, you're answering it. No, I'll answer first, but then you get the answer, and then, and then Kayana okay. can Okay, I kind of like that idea. I like yeah. it, too. You're right. So, okay, so who... Who were they again? One more time. Okay, so it's Jennifer from Jennifer's Body, Akasha from Queen of the Damned, or Nancy from The Craft. Um, killing Nancy. Killing Nancy. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I'm killing Nancy. They want to. You agree too? That's no, I, I kind of no. I, I don't know if I'd kill her. Yeah. See ya. I'm killing her. I'd kill her. But, Nancy's goth fucking psycho freak. But I liked her for that reason. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I've got to pick one and she's gone. Okay. So then the, I want to marry Jennifer just so I can keep continually debating the hell out of her. And then, uh, yeah. And then just fuck the hell out of uh, Akasha. Akasha. Okay. So, uh, yeah. I, I My answer is exactly matching with your answer. I would marry... Um, Jennifer from Jennifer's Body because she is, I mean, Megan Fox, she's fucking hot. All right. But yeah. then, but then you have uh, Kasha from yeah. Queen of the Damned. And she is, she was RIP, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Absolutely right. gorgeous. Definitely. So, but like, oh, yeah, no, that's right. Yeah. Because either way, whoever you're ended, ending up marrying, they're probably going to kill you anyway. <laughs> I, I I would fuck Nancy, marry Akashka, and kill Jennifer. Ooh. So nice, live man. forever, bitches. Because <laughs> she's going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to live forever. That's good. Oh, yeah. There you go. FMK! Ooh, that was a three-way FMK. <laughs> okay. I want to ask you guys something. Oh, shit. What do you want to ask? Okay. So, like, what would be your most <laughs> weapon? Why? Why are you laughing at me? What would be your most creative weapon of choice if you were the murderer in a new upcoming horror film? Being nominated for best gore scene. Well, I know right off the hat what I would do. What 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 what's your creative weapon of choice? My creative choice would be a potato peeler, and I would go around skinning people. That's fucked. That's um, carving. <laughs> Funny, oh. but would hurt like a motherfucker. <laughs> the torture, the screams, the blood. Oh man, that's oh. brutal. But that that was done somewhere in something. A potato pillar? Yeah. No, what? I don't think a potato pillar has ever been. Potatoes? Maybe. No. But so <laughs> you ever accidentally got your knuckle with one of those things? Fucking hurts. That? Yeah. Yep. Yes, absolutely. In high school, unfortunately, I did that. Right. I was helping my grandma chop up them damn taters for a soup and it got me damn pretty it. good. Because I was trying to watch American Idol at the same time. <laughs> Fucking American Idol. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, okay. What's your creative weapon of choice, son? My creative weapon of choice. Holy shit! Like, it's pretty much been done with. You got. It's got to be really random. It's it's a new upcoming film. You're you you're up for a nomination for for best gore scene, and you have so. this creative <laughs> weapon. This creative weapon. Yeah. So, so I, got, I got this glass jar. Okay. Ew, don't and go there. I bottle your fart in it and I see <laughs> and we die instantly. Folks, uh, we're experiencing some technical difficulties. I will fucking murder you. 
<clears throat> Welcome back. That is probably the most noxious, deadly thing ever in the world. <laughs> I hope this is a blooper. <laughs> we'll just put toxic. I hate you so much right now. Why would you put put me on blast? Like, the deadly my first episode you got enough for me. I got there, you're gonna get a nomination. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm giving you the assist. You're a bundle. Oh. <laughs> no, it's your bundle, not mine. <laughs> Dying. <laughs> I'm going to make you die. I, I wish I could fart right now. <laughs> fart in a jar and leave it by his pillow. Like, oh, my God. Bet. Bet. I'm going to put a flower in there, and I'm going to tell him to open up the jar and smell the oh, flower. Shit. I made it just for you, know, sweetheart. It ain't going to be I haven't really laughed that hard harder. since the uh, You're camp such out. You're an asshole. When I was oh, trying to oh, dance the with I'm coughing. <laughs> Ooh, oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> oh. He's crying. Oh. He's crying. Okay, what about oh. you, Epson? What's your weapon of choice? I was going to say something stupid like a fucking pop figure. But he's talking about a jar of art from me. That's messed up. And you're over here with a potato. And he's up for an Academy Award for oh. your fart. And I'm using a pop figure, and I don't even know what, probably like a Disney figure or something. <laughs> well, it tells yeah. it, it really tells you the, the levels of depravity and demented in between the three of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks, Mike. Oh, that was good. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are both really mean. <laughs> oh, that was funny. <laughs> Not the mean. Okay, bite. all right. Who wants to know about some upcoming new sequels? Me. Me. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, uh, these titles are coming at us next year in 2025. You can be excited or be like, uh, eh, you know, it is what it is, whatever. Uh, so we have Megan 2.0. That is coming out June 27th next year. Megan. Never saw the first one. What? Yeah, Are you kidding me? That no. shit was like, it was everywhere. Everyone was talking about it. Uh, even the little girls wanted to get the, the costume. And I never saw it. Went to, it was the Halloween Horror the Nights. The Halloween Horror Nights. They had so many Megans. All these people were dressed yeah. up as Megans. And they all looked completely identical. And they were all doing the stupid little robot dance that she does. Fuck it. I hate that dance. It's absolutely stupid. Like, for a robot, she sucks at dancing. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so I'm not I'm not too thrilled about, about that fan or uh, about that film. But all of its fans, I'm sure, are ecstatic. Maybe she'll wear a different outfit, too, because I'm over that bitch's dress. <clears throat> yeah, it'll probably be the same one, probably. Yeah. And then, okay, Five Nights at Freddy's. Did you see that one? Because they're cut. That was pretty Girl, good. For come it. over. We got we got to catch you up on this shit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Five Nights at Freddy's too. It actually was really good. Uh, Matthew uh, Lillard is in it, and I was not expecting him to be in it. I I was honestly even avoiding the previews for the movie. I just wanted to just go in, not knowing really what to expect. I never played the game or anything. Didn't know what the hype was with the kids. So I just was completely open-minded going into it but i actually liked it i actually really liked it it was, it was actually put together really well and i wasn't expecting matthew lillard to to be the evil um oh, spoiler alert so now i haven't seen it but now you're gonna tell me it's it's <laughs> well i mean yeah sorry spoiler alert it's true that is definitely a spoiler alert but yep he was yeah a bad guy in it um, okay, so this one I'm most excited about. It's Insidious Six. I love the Insidious series. The Insidious films are absolutely amazing. I'm talking spine chilling. Uh, the sign. Did you just burp or fart? Burp. <laughs> You're gonna give him crap about burping, and you have noxious. Yeah, burps. but it smells like a fart. I'm gonna bottle your own burps. Mm -hmm. Fucking dick. Anyway, <laughs> oh my god, you called me out. 
Where is my creative weapon of choice? <laughs> I need a pop. There's, there's figure. tons of pop, pops over there. Tons here, of pop figures. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> this is my weapon. <laughs> this is my. This is it. Stabby stab right in the earlobe. I really could too. This this little oh, fucker sure. is sharp. Right. I, I could get you in the eyeball with it. I think I'm bleeding Are right you? Might be. I'll make you bleed, bitch. It looks like there's blood all over him. So yeah, it probably bleed me. All right. So, so it's City of Six. Yeah. Um, that's gonna come out August 29th. So that's gonna be a really, really good summer film. So um I was thinking about having an insidious party. No, <laughs> I'm joking. Could you watch all the insidious that one. Dude, that'd be a sleepover. Dude, that sleepover. would have to be a that would be sleepover. fucking awesome. Oh, that'd be really good. That'd be really yeah. good. Um, did you guys know that in the Insidious franchise um, had grossed uh, over 730 million worldwide, mm -mm. making it the most lucrative horror franchise in, in histories? You sure about that? In recent histories, yes. Yes, it is. Yep. 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 Even over Friday the 13th and Nightmare yep. on Elm Street? Yep. Wow. Hmm. Yep. Facts. To look it up. Continued. We will look that up. Yep. So, um, <laughs> where are we going to be next at, guys? Horrorhound. Horrorhound. Horror happened September 13th through the 15th. And oh. it just so happens to be our birthdays. That's right. Happy and so, birthday to you. No, 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 no. Yep. Hers is on the 15th and mine's on the 16th. Yes, sir. So, um, that being said, friends, fans, everybody, come check us out. Come hang out with us during, you know, after hours and in between, in hours, all of it during operation hours. It don't matter. We're trying to have a blast. So, um, we we also accept birthday presents. You yes, know? we so. do. Oh, gladly. Thank you for that. Thank you for thinking of me. Where is your QR code where people can donate money to if they wanted to? Ooh, oh, ah, that's going to be uh, my cash app, Dead Hot Zombie, you know? So send it at your girl. Gorgeous Girls does have a new QR code, though, that we're going to have to start sharing. Let's share it right this second. Look at this beautiful QR code. It's right there. What are you going to do with it? Oh, you're going to scan it. Oh, buddy. Oh, scan me, yes, baby. Scan me, baby. You know you want to buy it. Click, click, click. Oh, yeah. wow. We're at it. Okay. While we're at it, you might as well like and subscribe. Oh. Click the bell. That way you get notified of all of our, you won't miss an episode. So please, 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 please like and subscribe, you know, or even share. But make sure you hit that bell and hit like for us. That way we, you know, hit we get out right there. Hit, it it now. Me. hit it so that good. That you, you hit it, hit it. the person won't. watching this. Yeah. Harder, harder, yeah. harder, yeah. harder. Love us. Comment, like, so, subscribe, everything. We have actually a really decent lineup here for Whorehound, you guys. Um, some of the celebs that are going, um, number one, oh my God, of course, uh, Robert fucking England, Freddy Krueger. Um, I really want to get his autograph. I really, really want it. The man, you know, is so iconic. I have his, his, I have his claw on my butt cheek. Mm -hmm. I think it's only right if I have him sign my butt cheek so I can get it tattooed. I have his autograph. On your butt cheek? Whose autograph don't you have, Chaotica? Stop. Rub it in our faces. Sorry. I'm not giving you an autograph uh, hey, of me, okay? She doesn't have canes. That's true. No, I don't. I've never even met Kane. Yeah, well. Hmm. I yeah, met him we'll several see. times, got several photos with him. He's even choked me. Okay. It's okay. He don't yeah. choke people no more, but he choked me. Yeah. All right. I got Phil Ensamos. Yep. Who has the juniors? Alice Cooper's. She's lost. Yeah, you got me. All right, whatever. So, um, Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes from The Clerks, they're nice. going to be there. I'm uh, excited about that one. Which is really cool Snoozy. because Kevin Smith, he goes to a lot of conventions, but Jason Mewes, not so much. So, it's going to be really exciting seeing him. Um, <clears throat> Jason Lee from My Name is Earl. Mm -hmm. uh, Cole, I can't, I don't know how to pronounce that. Sprouse, Spruce, Sprouse. Cole Sprouse and K 
Catherine Newton. And Cole is actually really cute. Um, I used to watch him on um, The Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. But they're from the new Lisa Frankenstein movie. It is so good. Easily, hands down, one of my new favorite cute horror movies. I guess it's a horror movie, right? I mean, I would say so, kind yeah. of. Comedy horror, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Um, Skeet. Oh, Rich. Skeet, 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 skeet. Met him. Love him. We got we got a selfie with him. And um, I got his autograph for my sister. So that was pretty good, right? My sister. My sister. Yes. Yeah. Yes, um, Melissa Bar Barrera. And that's in relation to Skeet because uh, that was his sister and the... Uh, or uh, da daughter. She was his daughter. Sorry, not sister. He, she was his daughter, in um, the recent Scream films. Mm -hmm. So those are a couple of actors <coughs> that are I'm looking forward to seeing. Yep. I don't and know then, about y'all. No. And then after that, what we have uh, some Wasteland. Yeah. October what third Cinema. through the fifth. Cinema Wasteland. And then, yeah. Um, um, Day of the Dead Chicago in November. No, well, I'm trying to think of what uh what actors are at the uh, Cinema Wasteland. Ooh. Um, um, we gotta pull that. Oh, Ginger Lynn, which is uh most known for being in a uh, porn oh, star. Yep, she sure and was. And then she was also in um, Devil's Rejects. She was. Uh, oh my Captain God! Spaulding's she woman. was he in the dream. Yeah. He was fucking her, and then yeah. she pulls a, a gun on him. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yep. Yeah, so, and then who was at the top? At the very top. Yeah. The, it's, it's, uh, Rick Sloan. Whoever that yeah. is. Yeah. Writer. Uh, I know there's at least one other person that's like. Tom Bartlett. Yeah, Tom Bartlett. Carrie French. Yep. Uh, Kenneth That's Hall. Wrong. Dwayne Whitaker. Yeah. Uh, Ginger Lynn. Paul Clemens. Gino Krogno. Frank Farrell. Camille Keaton. Mm. Is that I spit on your grave that she's from? Uh, it says, what have they done to Solang in 1972? Yeah. Well, these are all 72. 77, Day of the Woman. Who's that one? Mike Le La Lakey. Lackey? Yeah, he looks cool. Yeah, Start as Fred, the homeless older brother who... Let's see. Oh, yeah, John Russo. He's there. Yep, yeah, from the... Uh... Night of the Dead. Yeah. Tom Sullivan. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's back. Yeah. Yeah, he's back. Yeah. Ghastly Ghoul. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a horror host that was in the uh, Dayton, Ohio area back in the Amy day. Lynn Best. Yeah. These are all horror hosts that are down towards the bottom, I believe. What's, oh, it's Amy Lynn Best. Oh, the Mummy and the Monkey are going to be there. Yep. Oh, yeah. Of the <sighs> yeah. Son of the Ghoul. Yeah. But yeah, so that's Cinema Wasteland. Yep, and then right after that, on uh, what October twentieth through the twenty second is Scarefest. Yeah, Scarefest is like a fucking huge lineup. Like it's fucking ridiculous. You got like Kane Hodder, you have Danielle Harris, you have what Bill Mosley. Fucking, I love Bill. Um, <coughs> Alex Vincent. Oh shit! I mean, yeah. there you got. The car Christine's going to be there. Is Nico Hughes going to be there? Um, Clive Barker. No, Clive, Clive Barker. Barker. This is going to be his yeah, last so, yeah, convention. I, I, yeah, I really need so, to get, I need to get his autograph. Yep. Yeah, this is supposedly yep. going to be his last convention. So, yeah, you want to get there. So, if you guys are interested, you want to know where we're going to be at next, just check us out on our Facebook page. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, cool. the, the gorgeous, uh, the yeah. iHeart Gore. Sorry. Uh, iHeart Gore. That's going to let you guys know. Where we're going to be at next. Um, friends, fans, followers, vendors. Countrymen. Uh, any creative-minded folk. Uh, we are looking. We're demented. To have uh, cool people on here to fucking interview. So if, uh, if you're one of those people that are interested and you want to talk the shit with us virtually for an hour, 
All you got to do is go to our website, gorgeousgirls.com. You can message us there, or you can message us on uh, Facebook, uh, the Gore Horror Hour, um, or on our po- our podcast right here on YouTube. Shoot us a message uh, through the comments or whatnot, um, and you might just be lucky enough to, to hang out with us for an hour and, and shoot some shit. So, uh, yeah, hit us up if, if that's something that interests you guys, and and it'd be cool because, you know, we like to to help promote other people and um, mm-hmm. their small businesses and stuff like that. So if it, this this also uh, is extended to our vendor friends at uh, the conventions that know us best. So come yeah, on through. You know, we, we want the world to know about you guys just as much as we want the world to know about us. So uh, the Gore Horror Hour is extending that invitation to all. Mm-hmm. So hit us up. And uh, if you are interested in being a model, where can they go, Chaotica? To the thegorgeousgirl.com. You're going to click the link and there's going to be a submission link. And you're going to email the wonderful Mr. E-Rack over here. And you're going to tell him what you're going to bring to the table, some photos and a little bit of a video. So he knows that you're actually a person and that it's truly you. So, yeah, we don't want no bots. Okay. Yeah, we, we don't want we don't want no catfishing, you know. We want to make sure that you know the person that we're publishing is actually that person. Yep. So All if right. you like blood and you like gore and you come like horror, down. you like bloody TNA, come find us. Come on down. And to close out our episode 26 podcast of the gore horror hour, I think uh I think it, that it would be fun to uh, share some uh, interesting photos with you guys. <laughs> uh, We're going to do some blooper photos, I guess. Is that is that sounds good? Is that appropriate? Can we do that? Yeah. Can we, can we roll the film, please? Let's yeah, do this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, get, get that, that, tell the editor to do their Bye. job. Bye. Thanks. Bye. For Enjoy See you guys the next time. Have fun. <laughs>